How you do, kind folks? Slam and skits back together again. We are hey. back again. Ugh. Indeed, and today we're going to be talking about Kale's Skits' favorite I cartoon in the day. Are you the ball head? He's Kyle Kale. Oh, according to artificial intelligence text-to-speech, K-O-O. Oh, but yes. Caillou, dump, 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 dump. That's me. So, apparently, yeah. I know far less about this than you would apparently know about. Like, oh, yeah? I know more, like, this is the reverse Veggie Tales for me because yeah, because I I know a lot about Veggie Tales. Well, yeah, but I don't know a whole heck of a lot about Caillou. Son, you want to give us the rundown of Caillou and all? It's I mean, I'm not an expert on the yes, uh, not an expert on the matter here, but uh, I mean, I'll I'll tell you. I mean, I'll tell you what it is i guess <clears throat> as much as i know so yeah and you can fill in the blanks because there will be <laughs> probably some blanks so caillou i think it was all those you don't know is a cartoon that was very regularly broadcast on pbs and is one of the notorious very infamous ones. There there's the uh I think it's either the infamous two or infamous three or something like that. It was like this couple of shows that PBS had or that was really big back in the day that everyone just hated and destroyed. Ha. I think it was I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't I don't know if it was accurate but I know that there were a, like a few shows that everyone just absolutely despised. Yeah. And they gave it a name. I don't know what exactly it was, but yeah. So <laughs> one of So one of them was Caillou. The other one the other one was Barney cuz everyone hated Barney. Okay. And Another one was Teletubbies because the Teletubbies were weird and just annoying, apparently. Yeah, so, so, and, and didn't really have a whole lot of. Uh, they weren't like made by the same company, but no, no, might as well be. They were broadcast on the same channel in the United States, but in Canada and everywhere else, they were. Broadcast on different channels. Like Bar- I know Barney wasn't even. I don't think Barney was even broadcast in Canada. Oh, Canada. Uh, Caillou, as we'll figure, as we'll find out, Caillou had a a different run up in Canada than the United States. Yes, uh, Caillou is from Canada, so exactly. <laughs> yeah, so. But anyway, so everyone hated Barney because he was always all, he was creepy and he was always just like Mm -hmm. upbeat and just everything's going to be okay and all that crap. At least it's positivity, but still. Just over over positivity. Sometimes eh, there, there are some crying kids every once in a while to mix it up. Yeah, but Barney... I guess, whatever, but Fair enough, though. Teletubbies, they were just weird and creepy and bizarre and the weird <laughs> baby yeah. son thing. Just bizarre. Yes. Caillou, everybody hated Caillou Kale because Lewis. he was the complete opposite of Barney and Teletubbies. He just cried and he whined and complained. 
and did all this garbage, which yeah, brought yeah. kit, which a lot of parents thought that their kids would pick up on and uh, kind of did actually. But <laughs> uh, Caillou complained and whined and cried and did all this garbage that parents just hated and didn't really give a whole lot of valuable lessons to the contrary. Not not like, like a deep like they they did, but they didn't give like a really like like they gave some morals, but they didn't give like uh they didn't give like a, a full ex- explanation of the moral, right? Like yeah. And like, oh, you got to share with your share with your sister. But then Caillou would complain and whine and cry about how he had to share his toy car with Rosie or something for like, I don't know, 90 uh, percent of the entire episode. And then the dad would come in and be like, hey, Caillou, be nice to your sister. If you share with her. If you share with her, then she'll share with you. And then they're all happy and full at the end. But kids aren't going to pick up on them. They're going to pick up on the whining and crying and the complaining. That, that's the, the magnum climacticus. Oh, yes. But yeah, that's basically what Caillou is for the most part. He's a bald-headed kid. He, no, he does not have cancer, officially. Up for debate, but yeah, officially. Why, no. Yeah, why is he bald? We we don't know. It's not there's not an official answer, or maybe there is. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. Maybe Wait, maybe Skits knows. Maybe Skits knows later on. But anyway, maybe. he's got a <laughs> he's got a sister Rosie. He's got yeah. a mom named Mommy, a dad named Daddy. Yeah, that's all I'll say on that <laughs> for now. And. uh yeah. They oh, lived in a house and had next door neighbors named Mr. and Mrs. Shapiro, I think. Had a Asian like friend who was in like kindergarten or preschool or something yeah. like that. Or first grade. I don't even know. And then yeah. he had this redheaded guy, this redheaded guy who was his friend. And I think that's it. Not a whole lot of people of color in this. Oh, yeah. And the red-headed kid was Jewish. I remember that. Oh, yeah. It was like Clyde or something. Yeah. And a cat named Gilbert. Yes. Gilbert. I will get into that later. But, yeah. That's all I remember from... Caillou and the characters. It's been a while. I've tried to block it out of my memory, but yeah. I will just add, I believe, based on the books. Son, I we can't hear you, son. Son, folks, I believe it was based on a book series. Ah, indeed. D- just like Thomas. Yes, uh, but not anywhere near as epic in any shape or form. And to sum it up, I think Caillou is not only Canadian, but dare I say French Canadian. I think. Of course he is. I think. Don't quote me on that. Kind folks, let us know in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, But yeah, I do believe he is a French Canadian I know there are definitely French Canadian dubs or versions of it. And another little tidbit is the original Canadian releases of all the episodes had this random ass grandmother reading the 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 book of Caillou of the day to her grandchildren at her house. I remember there's one where it's like this is a story for when Caillou was three. Oh yeah. Speaking was of this, which, that's the narrator. Was... Is the grandmother? Yeah, apparently. 
the narrator is an actual character in Canada that is animated. Apparently, that's the original run. I did not see the original run. I actually saw. I actually lived in Detroit, and I got a lot of the Canadian channels. Yeah. Brought over from Canada for some reason. I don't know. It was like it was in our cable package. And I never, ever saw this Canadian grandmother of which you speak of. I, it, she was never there. She was never there. I saw puppets. I did see that, too. For some reason, like, for some reason, as a kid, I always saw like what I called the better version of Caillou because it had puppets and a song associated with Caillou and then the chopped down version that was like ew this is kind of weird Straight up Caillou the 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 Caillou that's like just bare bones just the episode that was the PBS version aka the American yeah. version the Canadian version had the puppets and the song so I was like oh snap okay puppets when I was a kid though I'm just what was that aired on? It was I on CBC. Hmm. I don't know. The Canadian one. I always saw the Canadian one on CBC. And it had puppets. Like in between the segments. Of, they had oh. two episodes. Like two yeah. 11, 12 minute episodes. And in between these episodes. They had like a. I don't know. Total like maybe a five to seven minute sketch. Or whatever yeah. of of Caillou's teddy bear Teddy, his yep. his dinosaur. I forgot his name. Dino the Dino, probably <laughs> not Dino. Right. It's, it's Rexy or something. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, but I think it was. I think you're something right. generic and stupid like that. Yeah, and then that's... Gilbert the cat. These toys come to life and they play out in the backyard play out in Caillou's backyard apparently what? when he's not what? home or something. Huh. And then they ha they go into like a quarrel or something and then I never remember Gilbert making these poems or something, these odes. Ode to a litter box or something like that. It was kind of stupid. I didn't even know what an ode was as a kid. The only reason why I know what an ode is is because of that. Which is bizarre. But anyway. Teddy was always the, the cuddly guy. And Rex, Rexy was kind of like the. The kiddish. Oh, yeah. Babyish thing. And Gilbert was always the voice of reason. Basically. Oh. It kind of reminded me of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Kind of. As like a more chilled version of that. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Not what I would have thought of, but okay. Huh. It's kind of weird. These three pe these three things that shouldn't be alive or talking, but they're alive and talking Definitely. and except for Gilbert, but they're alive and talking and doing yep. these weird cuckoo crazy things. Yeah. Just just a TVY version of them, I guess. So the TVMA. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was yeah. going to say, one is a lot more uh, adult-oriented than the other. Yeah, anyway. So, that's it for the main introduction, really, of Caillou. Except for the song. This Oh, yeah, the song. So, not, not that song. There was, like, this... This crappy kids bop song that would always come on in the middle of the show or whatever. Where kids, oh, yeah. they would always do machines are the things they're working for us. Had nothing to do with the, had nothing to do with the, the episodes. It would just be like, machines are the things they're working for us. And all these kids would just be like dancing and I'll be like, what the hell is this? Even as a kid, I was like, what the heck? What is this garbage? The only th the only reason why I remember that machine song is because it was so catchy. Huh. See that? One. And then, and then it went bum, bum, da, 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 da. 
I don't even know what the they had words, but I don't remember what the words were. Oh yeah, yeah, it's bizarre. It, it's I, I can see why this is one of the big, the infamous three or whatever, because it's they tried and they failed tremendously. That's but so uh, yeah, also it might not be French Canadian. I do know that a lot of Canadian shows at that. A lot of Canadian shows have to be translated into French because of Quebec. Yeah, it's probably what it is. So I don't necessarily know if that's true or not, but not. if it is French Canadian, then good going French Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, that's all for that. Son, what's yeah. your experience? Fill in the blanks with the uh, the Caillou lore, if you will. <laughs> there's not any. Uh, uh, there's nothing to fill in, honestly. Uh, Wasn't there? Much, did, there's don't they have? Doesn't he have more friends or something? There might have been like another. Oh yeah, the grandma and grandpa. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Which oh. I remember this one part. This one part in Caillou where he did actually this episode, he did not complain or cry in. And I was like, huh? It was like during Thanksgiving or something. And the grandpa showed him how to do like this magic trick where he takes his thing, takes the finger off his hand. That's how I figured that out. (laughs) You know, that you remember that trick, that weird trick that's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to stick my finger out. And pull it off. Ooh, you remember that trick? Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I figured that out by the grandpa in Caillou. Huh. What do you? I've know? seen that episode so many times. I was like, "How the hell did he do that?" And I was like, "Oh wait, this is how he did it." That's so funny. But huh. yeah, that's all I kind of. Yeah. That's oh. all the Caillou lore that I know of. That that's it. Uh. I remember there was an episode where their station wagon broke down. I think it was. A, I know it was blue. I think it was a wagon of some sort. It uh, it died on the road somewhere, and Kai, you got to ride in the tow truck, and he was excited about that. Uh, that was a thing. Uh, then. They flew. They went to the airport and flew on a plane once. So you can imagine Caillou. Uh, uh, I think uh, was playing around with the the volume knob for the headphones on the plane for Daddy. And uh, oh yeah, I remember that. And he went. It went uh, so loud that he like burned his ears or something. I don't remember that. Destroyed. His dad's eardrums that day, and uh, <laughs> then he somehow, after doing that, managed to get to ride in the the cockpit with the pilot. Oh, yeah, because he's such a good pilot. boy. Yeah, just, even though he destroyed pilot. his father's ears, exactly destroyed his father's like, ears. He just like, <laughs> he destroyed his father's ears, but then he was like, "Oh yeah, since you're such a good boy, let's go on them." Let's, let's get in the cockpit. Cockpit. Exactly. And then he got the wings and all that crap, and he's like, I am a pilot. Yes. Yes, he, he did, didn't he? Yes. Exactly right. I, that and I remember as a kid, I was like, I want to do that. Why can't I do that? And my parents well, were like, well, we're too, we can't fly anywhere because we don't have anywhere to go. Plus, it'd be like a fortune to carry kids all through the airport. And this was post 9-11, so we were all like, oh, okay, that, there's that. Anyway, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it, it is true. But anyway, though, so Not all our let's, let's get into the bigger conversation here. The golden yes. age of Caillou. Sure. Which is, I'm going to say, it's going to be Caillou from overalls to the yellow shirt. So Caillou had multiple variations. 
I forgot all about that, but you're right. He did. Yeah. I the only reason I have never seen Caillou in overalls. The only reason why I know that Caillou had overalls was because of me looking up Caillou memes once and saw some Caillou episodes and Caillou had overalls. And I was like, oh, all right. Well, there's that, I guess. Hmm. Caillou with overalls was not necessarily that good, I guess, if you can call it that. It was. Caillou with overalls was just adaptations of the books. I have never read the books, but I can tell that they were adaptations of the books because they were really wonky. Sort of like oh. early episodes of Thomas. They were like, oh, every Thomas episode was like an adaptation of the Reverend Aldry's books. And they were a little wonky. Yeah. So I can tell these were like based on those books and Basically adaptations of those books. The gray shirt, though. Shirt. Gray shirt was peak Caillou memes right there. K-O-O. Oh, yes. That's when they just went balls to the wall. They knew what they had in this complaining kid, and they just ran with it. Gave it the full sin. The, the cheap animation, they just had a giant bald headed freak with the gigantic mouth just going, <laughs> okay, you just the here's the thing, okay? This is the part where the animation was so cheap. That it made it even more hilarious. Because there were. Just. Things that were just so meme worthy. And just so just awful. That it's just hilarious to laugh at. It's it's uncanny, just like the. The famous meme that we all know and love. Where Caillou's skating has a skating rink in his backyard. Yep. And he skates. He falls down. And his mouth takes like half his head. If not his whole head. And then then the parents look around and then he's just still screams Mommy! as they not, skate not to that. him. He's just still. It's a still frame. My gosh. Oh, animation is cheap, but anime is cheap too, and everyone loves anime. But that is just yeah. unforgivable. It was not an art style that they could work with. Oh no! Sense of anime. Uh, you know, uh, another very noteworthy meme that's probably on par with the one you just mentioned is where he is like one pissed off bald headed bad boy like i tell you what he's like just not having it like his he's probably so pissed off that his entire scalp you know zero hair and all is like absolutely red hot just straight up the color red and he's just like i forget the context but he just it's like Silly old car, silly, silly, silly. Oh yeah, yeah. he's just in the bathroom, <laughs> the, just having a freak dog. out in there. He's just he's he's crying, he's screaming, and then he goes, vroom, goes in the car, goes vroom vroom, and the car breaks, and he's like, silly old car, he starts screaming again, just silly old car, silly, silly, silly. <laughs> That's in the intro. That that's in one of their intros. Always all always all over the place. He's just sucks when I had enough. It's always that. When he does that, that's when he's like, that's where I had enough. <laughs> yeah. Right. So yeah. And then there's the yellow shirt, Caillou. Pre 
hat, Caillou. <laughs> so, this yellow shirt, Caillou, this is when he's... I don't know if the parents gave him, like, a chill pill or something, but he mellows out tremendously. <laughs> oh. There is not all... I mean, he's still, like learning lessons and stuff, but yeah, he's not crying a lot. He's not complaining a whole lot. He complains sometimes, but it's like they the parents gave him a, a chill pill or something because he wow. just he's just like a totally almost totally different character. <laughs> you know, same scalp, different person. Reality, you know basically yeah and th- then he's all excited about growing up he's excited about going to preschool or whatever the uh the asian girls oh like. yeah that that's when that was more of a thing yeah that's whenever the asian girl like goes to i, I think it's first grade or preschool or something like that school because he's in a he's in a daycare or whatever yeah I know he's not old enough to go to preschool, I think. He's just in a daycare or something. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. that That's when Melo Caillou's there. That's when uh, uh, more mischievous Caillou, that's with the gray shirt, that's with him <laughs> revving <laughs> the audio up on his dad's ears. Yeah, that too. <laughs> That's where all the memes comes with the gray shirts, not the overalls or the yellow shirt Caillou. That's that. That's where all the yep. memes come from. Is gray shirt Caillou? Yes. That's you are. You're not going to see a whole lot of memes with yellow shirt Caillou. Not a lot. Not you unless you're some. looking. You might see some, but you won't find a whole lot. This is the golden age of Caillou. This is when they were just revving up all the episodes, just like, we're going to make our own Thomas the Tank Engine. And it turns out it didn't really pop off the way they expected it. A bit more of an oops. Yeah, because toys, the toy sales, they weren't that big. However, they did sell a lot, and I did get a couple Caillou things, like a Caillou plush or whatever, but yeah. other than that, it was just kind of like, yeah, nothing really out there, necessarily. No toys, which is surprising. Somewhat, I did have that one computer game as a child. Oh, yeah, they, there was, like, they did make it. games, too. I don't yeah, probably for my sister, based on when that came if I had to guess, but yeah. Still. I don't know if it was behind that PBS paywall or something in the United yeah. States. But yeah. in Canada, I do know they had a lot of Caillou crap in the stores or whatever, like Myers, the Canadian Meyer, Canadian Walmart basically. Okay. Myers. Myers. They, uh, they had a lot of Caillou crap, and I got like a Caillou plush and stuff like that. But it wasn't a whole lot. I mean, got some few Caillou books and stuff like that, you know, but it wasn't a whole lot, which is surprising because if you're going to get, you know, a kid's cartoon, got to milk that for everything it's worth, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. But, you know, that's the... uh Basically, the golden age of Caillou. Now let's talk about, I guess, the end. Silver. I guess. I guess the dark age. age. The other age. Because the other age, age, the second age of Caillou. The had age. The had. I I don't think it's the necessarily the dark age. It's just the second age of Caillou. Pardon me. Anyway, though. So after. All of the like backlash, yeah, <laughs> with Caillou. Oh yeah, because there was a ton of backlash. Ooh, pardon yes, me. There was. Another... <laughs> I don't think memes necessarily took off with Caillou necessarily quite yet, or they didn't take off 
as big that, you know, the older people would see it and take note of it. But oh, okay. yeah. But the uh the parent groups were all like Caillou sucks. We don't want this on PBS anymore. Yeah. Yes. Like Barney, like Teletubbies, all that type of stuff. The infamous three, if you will. Yeah. So they did a rebrand of Caillou where they animated it. The animation, A, is a lot better. Where it's still in that storyboard storybook essence, but it's less like hand drawn and more flash where it's very streamlined and you can tell right off the bat that it's the animation's technically better. Yeah. Caillou does not complain at all. He does oh, not cry. They, they, they were he paying just, attention. Yeah, he does not do anything. He is completely neutered. He is like on every yeah. pill. He's like on every pill ever created to chill a kid out. Neutered Caillou. Oh yes, he always has a hat on. He never, yep. almost never, has his bald head yep. out in the open, except when he goes to sleep. And if he's inside his own house, ah, then he does not have his hat on. But everywhere else, he has a helmet on. Or he's got a hat on. He, he does. He, I guess they stopped buying sunscreen, so they just kept a hat on this bald kid's head. I mean, he probably was doing his, you know, classic cry when they were, you know, rubbing up his bald spot with that sunscreen. You know. Yeah, but they were popping, giving them every pill known to man to chill this kid out. Yeah, that too. You know, it's it's a financial burden on mommy and daddy. You know. Oh um, yes, oh yes, but it worked apparently because he does. I mean, he frowns sometimes, but it's not because he like creates the problem. There's a problem that arises, and he tries to uh, fix it uh, the best that he can. That's more positive, at least. Yeah, but it neuters the show. <laughs> That's not what people yeah. are watching. It, it takes people... the hilarity out of it. Yeah, it, it's not funny anymore. It's just no. a generic kid show. Yeah, like, at least it appeals to its target audience better. Maybe. It's kind of like Paw Patrol or something, which, yeah, technically it's better, but where's the, huma where's the humanity? Where? Where's the yeah. where's the hilarity? That's and right. every yep. every single after every single episode of this show too, Caillou comes in yeah. with like a board or something. He's like, "Hi everyone, do you want to play a game with me?" And then every single time, I remember this. Every single time, yeah. there would be like a couple kids that go, "Yeah," and that kid goes, "Yeah." And another kid goes, yeah, OK, let's go. Literally, just like that, every single time. Yep, I can I can picture it. it's that classic uh, delayed small child reaction because they, they don't have the mental maturity yet to say it together. So they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but it's not real kids. It's just. Caillou oh, looking at the screen with a yellow background and saying, hi, everyone, do you want to play a game with me? And then there's voices just saying, yeah, yeah, I know their voices. Yeah. It's just, I mean, you know, Blue's Clues that came on the scene before. Yeah. Caillou. Implemented that, it, I believe they didn't even have. I don't think they had kids' voices. Did they have kids' voices in Blue's Clues? Not that I recall, no. Yeah, so maybe they did, but I don't even remember it. I know that Door the Explorer, they did the same thing, and you know what? I don't recall that. 
Dora the Explorer, you know, stopped for the audience to say what they needed to say. And but, but there was the never kids' voices. What? Oh, oh, yeah. There's but. never kids' voices. There was a cursor, but like a yeah. cur- like a mouse cursor thing. But yeah. I clicked on the yeah. thing, but it wasn't like kids' voices or whatever, you know? It wasn't that annoying. Yeah. Why do you need yeah. kids' voices? It's stupid. Exactly. And, well, yeah, I don't remember a single thing about Caillou in this age. I mean, my... No, I think we were past watching Caillou. My brothers and sisters used to watch it, all, all of them younger than me. And I used to, like, watch a little bit because that's what was on TV. And there was literally a nothing. There was nothing memorable about that show wow. except for the wow. annoyance i was yeah. like where's the funniness where's the <laughs> where is that there's none of that caillou does not cry rosie barely cries and she's a baby don't you agree though like rosie would be the one that would do the crying, right? The Caillou, because she's the. I mean, kid. yeah. I mean, I cried when I was four too, but. Well, I so did I, but. Not this again, much. She would naturally be the crier of the two because she's that two-year-old. No, no, no age, right? Yeah. So. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Caillou's had a legacy. Terrible legacy, basically. Just memeing it to death. From Family Guy with the, uh, like the, like with the impotent dad or whatever, that type of thing. Just eating yeah. like saltines without even saltless saltines or whatever. Caillou's beta dad. <laughs> Caillou's beta dad. To uh, just the Caillou being gangster or whatever. Yep. Uh, and uh, Caillou all grown up. I did it, Daddy. No one would have sex with you, Caillou. That's a good one. Uh, oh yes. I will yes, leave it with yes. this. Uh, Fun fact, when I was in high school, and uh, Slam, maybe you recall this, uh, you know, we had our laptops, right? Yeah. When our laptops got uh, taken for maintenance purposes, we'd get the loaner. I remember one time I got the loaner, and I put Caillou in the chemotherapy as the background. Yeah. <laughs> I tr- I yeah. It. And the guy working there, if you remember him, uh, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Williams, yeah, that was who he was, a uh, good guy. Uh, <laughs> he just, his reaction is the best. What? He opens it up. He opens up this loaner when it's time to return it and get my actual laptop back. And he's like, Caillou and the chemotherapy, huh? Did that kid cry all the time? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if everyone knows, even if even if people who don't really have kids, I don't think, and knows about that, then, yeah. Still, exactly. The point. The, that's the point. Caillou cries, whines, complains all the time. There's been theory there's been theories going around about why he's bald. There's no canonical reason that I know about it's why not, it's I use not, bald. It's it's not in canon, is it? If you just wanna if if you know the answer, please comment below and let us know. But Yeah, that would if, be great. If uh so yeah, it I mean Caillou there's been theories about Caillou being bald, like Caillou having yeah. cancer or something. Yeah. But 
Yeah, there's... In the show, he doesn't have cancer, so, yeah. But I don't... I... Yeah. Caillou goes to chemotherapy and all that. Caillou all grown up. Which is pretty funny. A lot of Caillou memes out there. It's kind of died out. Because the people who... Grew up with Caillou have also grown up and gotten jobs, uh, yeah. all that stuff, or moved on to other things. But yeah, Caillou will always live in our hearts and our minds and always be the classic crier, screamer, complainer that we all know and love. And even though this was a shorter episode, this had to be said because Caillou Caillou is Caillou yes. I can't hear you son yes yes he is could have said it better myself quite and uh yeah got any final thoughts about this son uh yeah um uh... I mean, Caillou was not my favorite back in the day, as you can imagine. I watched it some. Uh, you know, he's going to cry. Especially if he has a gray shirt on. I think we did forget a third moment where he's... About you're the, breaking up and you're he's very talking quiet. about the ducky making lots of bubbles. What? Talking about the duck, rubber duck. Making oh yeah. So that was another cool one. But yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, well, that's it for this podcast. There, kind folks. What you guys think of Caillou? Did it rock? Did it suck? Do you like the memes? Do you like the show? Whatever your thoughts. Comment, let us know, subscribe, ring that bell. More content can your way. Hey, take care, guys. Catch you next time. <laughs>